from the Tribune News Network, this is Newsbreak. I'm Krishna Russell. Amid growing concerns over the Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine in some European countries, Health Minister Renwood Wells has stressed that if any Bahamian were to experience negative post vaccination side effects, the government will respond immediately. This as the country began its vaccination rollout today, a week after it received 20,000 doses of the British made vaccines from the Indian government. This comes at a time when the shots are being temporarily suspended in several European countries, including Germany, France, Italy, and Spain, out of fears people who received it have had blood clots. Officials from the European Medicines Agency have since defended the shot as safe, insisting that no direct link between blood clot symptoms and the vaccine has been established. World Health Organization experts have also assured that the vaccine is safe and are still recommending use of the jabs. They were expected to meet yesterday to review the Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine. Bahamas Christian Council President Delton Fernander yesterday criticized large political groups who have been campaigning in constituencies while some COVID-19 restrictions remain on churches. In particular, the BCC president pointed to funerals that can only be held at the graveside with a maximum of 20 people, not including the officiant or mortuary workers. Lent, the period of 40 days which comes before Easter in the Christian calendar, has been traditionally respected as a time when no campaigning takes place, Bishop Fernander said as Prime Minister Dr. Hubert Minnis and members of the government looked on. Over the weekend, both the Free National Movement and the Progressive Liberal Party were seen in large groups in the Centerville constituency. Dr. Minnis was among the group of dozens of FNM supporters and members canvassing the area on Saturday. The Progressive Liberal Party ratified 13 candidates for the next general election last night, including Senator Dr. Michael Darvill in the Tall Pines constituency, but not longtime Representative Leslie Miller. Though Dr. Darvill's ratification was expected, it will prompt questions about Mr. Miller's political future, given the public campaign he waged for nomination. Mr. Miller, who did not answer calls seeking comment yesterday, has repeatedly said he would run as an independent candidate if the PLP denies him a nomination. Phase one of the urgent and emergency care project is nearing completion at the Princess Margaret Hospital. Construction of the first phase, which encompasses a dedicated space for orthopedic and wound care services, a new patient registration area, and a new emergency department entry and covered ambulance bay, commenced in November 2019. It is expected to be completed in the coming weeks. The updated design of the new entry emphasizes privacy, dignity, security, and a commitment to quality clinical care, and also represents significant reform in the delivery of emergency care and urgent care for residents of New Providence, PMH has said. Key features of the new driveway to the emergency... In international news, the suspect in the shootings at three Atlanta-area massage parlors that killed eight has been charged with murder and assault. Authorities in Cherokee County say 21-year-old Robert Aaron Long was charged with four counts of murder and one count of assault in the shooting at a massage parlor there. The other victims were killed at two massage parlors in Atlanta. Officials said they're still investigating whether the Georgia killings were hate crimes amid concerns over a wave of attacks on Asian Americans. Six of the victims were Asian and seven were women. The European Union's executive body proposed today issuing certificates that would allow EU residents to travel freely across the 27-nation bloc by the summer as long as they have been vaccinated, tested negative for COVID-19, or recovered from the disease. With summer looming and tourism-reliant countries anxiously waiting for the return of visitors amid the coronavirus pandemic, the European Commission foresees the creation of certificates aimed at facilitating travel between EU member nations. The plan is set to be discussed during a summit of EU leaders next week. The Tribune's AccuWeather update a service of Bahamas Power and Light Company. A broad ridge of high pressure will persist across the Bahamas while maintaining breezy and mostly dry and stable conditions around the islands today. Beachgoers and swimmers should remain vigilant due to the moderate risk of rip currents mainly along north and east coast beaches. In the northwest Bahamas, it'll be variably cloudiness, warm and a bit breezy, with a slight chance of a brief passing shower or two today. Mild tonight, with a stray shower or two possible. Small Small craft should exercise caution due to ocean swells. Winds are southeast to south at 15 knots. Seas 3 to 5 feet near shore and up to 7 feet offshore in moderate north to northeasterly swells. In the central and southeast Bahamas, it'll be partly sunny, warm and breezy, with an isolated shower or two possible. Breezy and warm tonight. A small craft advisory remains in effect. Winds east to southeast at 15 to 25 knots. Seas 4 to 7 feet near shore and up to 10 feet offshore in moderate to large north to northeasterly swells. 
wells. We'll have a daytime high temperature of 84 degrees and an overnight low temperature of 69. The sun will set this afternoon at 718 and will rise tomorrow morning at 716. That's Newsbreak. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper, now on the streets, or stay up to date online at Tribune242.com.